Hi, I'm Dani from eLearning Channel Museum. I will start with answering some of your questions from previous videos. Most often asked question was, when can I able to play nice song with the both hands together? I know you have been waiting so long. Maybe by lesson 10, we can able to start nice song playing with the chords. Just hang on a little more. We will get there soon. And second often asked question was, why you keep changing hand position instead of starting on C? And which makes me really confusing because the way of learning is different. I'm teaching you in a bird view. So instead of from C to expanding up and up and up, I'm trying to teach you from outside to going inside. So you can able to start in any case, not only limited yourself to the C, but in any case, black keys, D, G, E. So you just like see it from the skies, bird view, look down the music instead of from bottom to look up. So, you know, start from here to expanding up. I want you to start from outside to coming in. That's why, do you remember in last time, I asked you to play it in different hand positions from C, starting in A, starting in D, so that you can just move free. So you can see all the keys instead of starting from here to expanding out. That's what's the reason. Today, we're going to learn two songs on two lines, and I will teach you how to play the chords using my skip and step. This practice is for left hand playing on two lines. Let's find hand position. The first note, we don't know yet, but, but the second note is on E. So you can start any E's. There's many E's. I will start from middle C, active lower E. Then, what is the first note? Because the second note is E. And first note is a skip down from the E. So it will be skip down. That's the note, the first note. C. And what about the third one then? Skip up from E. That's your hand position. And if you look at it, the first measure and the second measure is exactly the same. So you will repeat the first measure once again at the second time. And after that, there is a repeat and skip down and down. That's how you're going to read. Let's try on the piano. Put your hands on the piano. Ready? One, ready, play. C, skip up, skip up. Same as beginning again. C again, skip up, skip up, and repeat, repeat, skip down, skip down. Two, three. What is the time number of the time signature? Three. Yes, because of read has three bits of measure. Let's try a little fast this time. One, two, go. One, two, three. Okay. This time, let's try on A. So middle note is A. Then the first note is a skip down from the A, and third note is a skip up from the A. So that will be your hand position. Now let's go slow. One, ready, play. Skip up, skip up, and then go back to very beginning. Repeat whole entire measure, and repeat. One, two, and skip down, and down. That's how you do. Practice two is playing on two lines. I'm on the right hand. The bottom line is E. Now, C, D, E. I will start on the middle C. And 
if you see it is moving from line to line so from here to skip line to line so next note is that one and then the third note coming back down to E again so that's the first measure coming go skip up and down and second measure if you look at it from E to step up down and third measure is this time line to line so skip up again and fourth measure skip up and step down down so this time it has combinations of skip and step so you just as you play along just recognizing skip and step let's start from the beginning slow tempo one ready play skip up skip down e repeat step up step down e again skip up skip down skip up again step down and step down good now this time let's try a little fast before we go on faster tempo what is the time signature three four yes because we have three beats in a measure this time play in a faster tempo ready one ready play this time let's try on different key now the bottom line is on B so B then skip up and skip down let's try on B one ready go B skip up skip down repeat step up step down repeat skip up skip down skip up down down this time we're going to talk about chords chords are more than two notes are played together it can be two note it can be three note or it can be four note or it can be five notes how many notes doesn't matter but as long as it has more than two notes played at the same time that's what we call chord there are many types of chord today we're going to over very basic ones first if we see two notes are built it on line to line or space to space then we would play it like this or even in the black key it will be like this Oh, sums are maybe a little different it depends on flat and sharps but basically we skip that's the first one if we see one is line the other one is on the space is too close then that will be like a chopstick right next to each other So it's very easy to recognize if you see it line to line or space to space well blocked then you will play it something like this and if it's a too close and then there one is on the line the other one is on the space then it will be like this just you need to figure it out any one note name and then from that one you will find the next note practice is three this time we will play both hands together let's just start with the left hand first since we just learned the chord now left hand the bottom space is on e so where let's try and here lower e so e and the first chord is well blocked space to space and then the bottom one is e and the next chord is built it on above so up skip up so that's what you're gonna play so first measure one two three one two three you 
have next one, the same one, three times. After that, the very last note is, aha, uh -huh, you can see it, something like this. Now, let's find it out. Top note is the same. See it? So, the easiest way is you can see the top note is the same. Then the bottom note will be like this. That's how you can figure it out. This time, let's check right hand. Right hand, the middle note is on E. And then the first note is skip down from the E. And then the last note is skip up from the E. So very first measure is exactly the same as practice one. And then you repeat it, the second measure. And then the third measure is repeat, repeat, and skip down. Only the difference is just a step up, the very last note. Last note is a step up from the ending note. That's the difference from the practice one. Now let's go both hands together. Ready? One, two, three. part. Let's try it again. Now this time, I forgot one thing. What's the time signature? 3-4. How do we know? 3 beats in a measure. Some students are asking me, isn't that 6? Because bottom note has a 3 beats and top right hand has a 3 beats. So 3 plus 3 is a 6, isn't it? 6 count? No. How do we see it, the count? The bow line, do you see it, the long line? That's showing that right hand and left hand is moving at the same time. So we don't divide right hand and left hand count. Either you have to count left hand or the right hand because always the left hand and right hand counts are the same. So you can just count any one hand. And then the total number will be the time signature number. We don't plus left hand and right hand beats. Now let's try a little fast. One, two, three. Three, one, two, play. C, skip, skip again. C, skip, skip again. Repeat, repeat. Skip down and step up second. Two, three. It's okay, right? It's coming along. Practice a couple of times and you can play it really well. If you can play it well on this, then try on B. So instead of E, the space will be B. The right hand, middle note is B, and first note will be skipped down from the B. So here, and the next, the last note from the first measure will be skip up from the B. So that's the hand position for right hand. So G, skip, skip, and then the same as beginning. What about left hand? So bottom will be B, and skip up from the note. So it will be this chord. be like this bottom comes up that's how you read let's try slow one two three skip G, skip skip repeat repeat skip step up two three that's what you can do how was the lesson was it really confusing Playing left hand chord, skip and step. That's really obvious if you see it that way, right? Most of the chord, I don't know if you noticed it or not, they're written that way. Skip, step. Of course, there will be more on it, but that one we will learn later. If you know skip and step, you can play it many of songs. We will start playing on grand step which is a treble clap and bass clap. Of course, it will be five lines, so each 10 lines. Until next week, practice hard. So when you're exposed to the five lines, when actually 10 lines, you know where you are and how to do it. Same as always, and it will be, enjoy your practice. Thank you.